Welcome everyone to a new FIFA 22 tactics video on my channel. My name is Mark and in this video I'm going to show you the best way to play with the national team of Portugal. All in my opinion of course at this moment in FIFA 22. I'm going to show you the best formation, lineup, tactics and instructions. But before I begin I really wanted to ask you to drop a like under the video if you uh, think this video is useful for you. It will be really useful for me if you would leave that like because the more likes I got uh, the higher my videos will be ranked in YouTube. So small favor I'm asking, I think, smash that like button. And if you are new to my channel, I want to find your way back really, uh, really quick, really easy. Make sure you are subscribed with notifications on so you get a message when I'm uploading a new video. I'm doing lots of tactic videos, tutorial videos. So if you're interested in that, make sure you are subscribed. I'm also doing some live streams on Twitch. I'm gonna try to do that every Sunday at least. So if you wanna see me playing live in online seasons, you can request me to do some themes or specific tactics if you want. You can do that in the live stream. All right, by saying all of that, let's start with the formation for uh, Portugal. And it's a bit of a, uh, yeah, custom formation. What I did, I was uh, taking the 4-2-2-2 formation and then you can uh, yeah, modify that a bit by pressing the square button for one of the midfielders, put him over there on the cam and then we take this defender, put him over there, central defensive midfielder. And then we have three attacking midfielders, one defensive midfielder and two strikers. I know it's really attacking but yeah, I was I was doubting about this team because they have so many good players in this squad, especially attackers. And yeah, and I wanted to uh, yeah to try them all uh, to have them all, but you can't put in seven attackers. That would be a bit too much. So I I decided to play with five. I played a few matches, and it worked really really wonderful this way. So. It's a bit of a custom formation. It's the 4 1 3 2 formation for me, it's called. And yeah, you can uh, you can make that by yourself. All right, let's go to the uh, to the lineup. Patricio is the goalkeeper. On the right side, we have Semedo. Pepe and Diaz are the center backs, and Cancelo is the left defender. Then we have Pereira uh, as the central defensive midfielder. You can also put Paulinho over there. Uh, it doesn't matter that much. I, I tried them both, uh, but I choose Pereira because he's a bit faster than Paulinho is. Uh, but yeah, if you like Paulinho more, feel free to, to switch them because it doesn't matter that much uh, for my feeling. So, uh, but for me, I choose Pereira. Then on the right side of the attacking midfield, we have Bernardo Silva. Uh, the central one is Fernandes. And on the left side, we are using Jota. We have two strikers, Ronaldo and Rafa. And Rafa I'm using over there because he is so fast with 94 pace. He can make lovely runs, create space for the other attackers. And yeah, he's doing that pretty, pretty good. All right, then we have on the bench uh, Silva. I already said Paulinha. I replace Paulinha for Pereira during the second half. Uh, then we have Guedes. Uh, I use him as well as a substitute. Uh, very often, mostly to replace Rafa or to replace Jota. Both are getting a bit tired after 60 or 70 minutes of playing. So this is a pretty good player to have on the bench. And we also have Zhao Felix, who is also a pretty good, decent player. And yeah, sometimes I'm using him to uh, replace one of the other four uh, attackers of course not Ronaldo Ronaldo is staying in the field all the time he's the best player and he will never get tired for my feeling so you don't need to replace him so all right enough players on the bench to use uh, then we're going to the tactics I choose defensive style balanced with a width of 35 and a depth of 50 build-up play is fast build-up with chance creation on direct passing uh, the width is 60, players in the box, five bars, corners and free kicks are two, but it doesn't matter for the tactics at all. You can choose whatever you want over there. Uh, then we're going to the instructions. Semedo, stay back while attacking because we are already playing with five attackers. So we want our defenders to stay back. Pepe and Diaz, you can leave them default. And Cancelo, the same as Semedo, stay back while attacking. Then we have Pereira, good passing lanes. Uh, stay back while attacking and cover center. These three things I will change for him. Uh, then we have Silva. I just leave him default. 
uh, Fernandez just default, Jota just default. Uh, then we have Ronaldo, the only thing I changed for him is stay central. And then we have Rafa, the only thing I changed for him is get in behind. So that's it for the national team of Portugal. You can see me playing a whole match uh, with this after this. So if you are uh, keep watching this video, uh, you can see me playing a whole match is without commentary. So maybe it's a bit boring, but if you want to see how it works, you can watch it or else you can leave now and uh, hopefully you will have a great time. And hopefully if you try this out yourself, you will win with this. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.